I have only one thing on my mind for this episode. Finishing the mine area. And we're going to be doing that in the form of creating a kind of wall going around the outside to start off with. I found that having walls around like a big area it worked quite effectively here with the farm area. I think it might work quite effectively with the mine area too. I just don't, I don't want to get too repetitive, you know. In between episodes I've marked out where I want this road to go. I might adjust the kind of area where it is because at the moment I think it might look a tiny little bit too blocky. But I guess we'll just find out. This right here is what the kind of outside shell part of the wall is going to look like. It's going to have some iron bars in between as well. In fact, I'm not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is that. It is right. <laughs> it's not really a special wall. It's not It's not got some crazy design behind it, if that's what you're thinking. I understand how boring of a task this may be to watch. So, I'm going to time-lapse this. I know this is fairly early in the episode for a time-lapse. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's go straight down to the business. I've done that side, now I'm going to move on to this side. Okay, uh, I think I've successfully done that. Now I'm just going to do a bit of tidying up, because every now and again, there's just a disgusting block like this. It just looks absolutely horrid, and quite frankly, so does that. There you go, that's a lot better. So I've just got to do a little bit of tidying up around the edges, here and there. Just making it look a little bit nicer. you got to remember that from this side, it's got to look good too. Okay, it's all looking good. Uh, on this side, and now we've just got to do the other side. There's less instances where that happens over this side, but in some cases there is still places. Oh, actually, maybe there's more this side. I'm pretty sure that's that side done now. Now I'm going to pop back over to my other shulker box. By the way, I think I might have overpacked the basalt a tiny, just a tiny, tiny bit. These iron bars are not going to go to waste, however, I'm going to need a lot. The way this is going to go is basically uh, two iron bars, and then that should leave one block on the top. Sounds easy, but then you remember, iron bars are an absolute nightmare to place. The good thing about this is that the mountain with the ravine, it kind of, well, th there's no need for a wall to be there because it blocks off the rest of it. So the wall doesn't need to go fully all the way around. That's kind of how I like my builds. Like, nicely close off. Like, large-scale builds, I mean. Like, large-scale themed ones like this. Thinking about it, I might have overstocked on the iron bars as well. If you're wondering how I got so many, it's because I have an iron farm. And people who watch this series episode by episode, like most people do, will know that. But we get new people coming in every week, so there you go. There's your episodely reminder that this is a 100% legit survival. I can still earn achievements in this world. No cheats. Haven't touched anything of the game rules. Everything is legit. That side is now done, which means I believe the wall is... Ow, it crashed into a tree. I believe the wall is now completed. It just looks like a wall. I'm kind of glad it's here, though. It means we have actual boundaries for this thing. The, the only problem I see is that... you. What is going on here? What is wrong with the bottom of these trees? I mean, I might as well destroy them. I think they got blown up by a creeper or something. Like, many creepers. Yeah, look. Creeper hole right here. Yeah, my only complaint is you can't really properly see the wall. So I'm just going to remove all the trees that are touching the wall in any way. Including ones at the front. In fact, I might just remove all trees from the front. Because who needs trees, am I right? There we go, they should slowly now be disintegrating. And 
well, I guess we could work on this entrance a bit more. It looks a little bit sad. There's just not very much grandness going on. So I'm going to take a stack of basalt and make this look a little bit more interesting. That's looking a little bit better, even though I've literally just extended it by three blocks. You can see that I've started to make a kind of off-branch sort of road. That's what I'm going to be working on in the next part of this episode. It's basically a mini car park for this. I mentioned it in the last episode. Um, it's nothing special, really. In, I had I had to change it up a bit because I realised my my two roads, this road and then the road I designed in my design world, they're completely different. They're not completely different, but this bit isn't extended as far in this one. So I had to kind of improvise and change the design up a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm hoping it still looks okay. It's about this big. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I got the size right. That's looking okay. I'm very glad it fits. What I'm now going to do is dig out the center part and then fill it with regular stone. Just... Just stone. Oh, something's going on here. Oh no. Oh, that is not good. I just about managed to make it work. I had to extend it out a block back. And it still fits. Somehow. I just realised I built this a couple more blocks too far forward than I wanted, so... I'm just going to do this. And actually, this fits perfectly. All right, now I'm going to do break these blocks here because it's got to be symmetrical, and this has got to have like a stone kind of path going across. I'm going to have black, yellow, black. Now what I'm going to do is add kind of parking spaces. Because these parking spaces, it's where, like, these trucks are going to park when they're not in use. So they'll just be coming, like, around over here and then plonking themselves in this car park. I'm still integrating a story within this build. It's working really well. I'm out of white concrete. That's not good. So we've got two spaces for parking. Two trucks, actually. One there and one back here. This one's prepared to have that lifted up onto it. And, well, there's one other thing that I want to do with this area. One other thing that I've wanted to do since we built this crane. I, I had the idea while building the crane, and we did that a very long time ago, and it involves going down there. I'm now down in the ravine, and I'm going to build a little platform. And it's not just a regular platform, it is a special platform. So let's go. It just about fits, but it's annoying because it, it maybe I maybe I could build it the other way. It's annoying. It doesn't quite fit perfectly. This is the best we're gonna have because it's not gonna fit in the other way, that's for sure. Now I'm gonna take some stone brook stairs and just surround the outside with them. I also created this cool way of getting down there. Uh, if you look, there's a big water pool down there. So you just drop, you're in the water, and then you're down. You're not going to be doing very much down here. This is purely uh, just for the looks, basically. And this is basically going to be the platform where that has been just grabbed from. And then this right here is where another one of those is going to be, except it's open and there's some resources spilling out. I absolutely love the look of the beehive on the top. I love it. It looks so pretty. So I'm going to be using that alongside some smithing tables. I don't have enough. I think I mentioned when I was making the crane that I wanted to build another one of those. And that is why I still have some of the resources left to build some more of these. So if I place a block of coal ore just there. And have some coal ore out the front. And then I run up to the top. I can grab a single bit of black concrete, and basically, if you look, these crates, they, they all have just a single block of black concrete, and that's basically what's kind of sealing it off, although I'm not sure that one actually has one. I need to add that in. I don't know why it's not there. There we go. 
And if I place that right there, that shows that basically it's been opened and all the materials and stuff are spilling out. Now that is built, I'm fairly certain that's all we need to do down here. It's literally just a platform. I need to go and get that smithing table though. I'll do that now before I forget. As you can see, I've begun to dig out an area which is basically a continuation of the road. And the only problem is it comes straight across the river. So I've designed a cool looking bridge and I'm gonna build it right here. But we've got to continue the road to start off with. And that's exactly what I intend to do. That should be the road uh, pretty much done now. Just got to turn a couple of concrete blocks into concrete powder. And there we go. Now we can begin building up the actual bridge part of this. This is a bit of a strange one. Because over here, it's a river. But over here, it's not. So I've got to really choose choose wisely, I guess, uh, where I put the actual bridge part of this. It's an interesting one this time. Snow alongside dark oak slabs. Bit of a weird one, but I guess whatever. One, two, three, four, block. And then, yeah, there we go. That links up perfectly. And that creates a nice kind of arch shape, which I really do quite like. There we go. Now on both sides we have that. Now I believe there is one more arch which goes across the center and it's taller than these. So I've got to find the exact middle block and it's there. Oh god. I hate baby zombies. Very nice. Okay, well while I'm up here, I might as well place in the dark oak slabs. Because that will be useful just to do it now rather than later. And it's just basically got to go on top of where all of these are. Topping it all off, I suppose. We have ourselves a wonderful bridge. It doesn't quite look complete because I'm missing out a block. Just there, and the same on the other side. So yeah, that is looking pretty good, but the river's here as well. That is my one and only complaint about this. Okay, well, I've just got to basically rebuild that exact thing over this side. I'm trapped underneath now. Yeah, I've got to rebuild this there. Now that looks special. I've been told it kind of looks like an Oreo, but I, I, I'm just a fan of it. You know, I'm a fan of this shape. I have nine pieces left. Do you reckon that's enough for me to link these up? I'm not sure how it'll look when it is linked up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I love it when that happens. That actually looks okay with it with it linked up. Can't complain. That 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 actually looks really good. With it all linked up. Yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, I'm keeping it like that. The next problem I have is well, I've got to somehow get this road turned into a grass path. And then it needs to go this way a lot. And then it needs to link up over like here I'm guessing. So that's the next thing I'm going to try and do. I'm going to uh, make a, another path. And it goes this way. Right, it's going to go that way then. I'll see you on the other side. My shovel is literally dead. I really, really like what we've come up with here. It The road just kind of shatters, and I like that. I like how the road just kind of ceases to exist anymore although i have got to make it a little bit neater just down here uh just to make it not look terrible there we go there's all the editing i need for that completely finished now this all needs to turn into grass before i can turn it into a grass path but i absolutely love this like a grand entrance thing and then it goes forward a long way Beautiful. So all this grass needs to grow before I can turn it into grass paths. That's fine. It gives me time to fix my shovel a little bit. But, and this bit does as well, actually. But the grass path goes all the way along. And it will eventually link up over here. There's a clever catch with this. Because 
well, I the tree lab, which we finished like a long time ago now, um, it has no entrance still, so it's just sitting over there on its own little island, surrounded by a river. And I haven't, I haven't quite got a way over there yet, and I think I'm going to have to connect it via the trail system. So it'll come off this one, and it'll head in this direction, looping around to the front over there. But we'll get to that when we get to that. This episode has focused primarily on the mine area, and I think, with a massive grin on my face, I can say that the mine area is now complete enough. <laughs> There's some small details which I still need to work on, for example, the grass path, which needs to link up and actually look good. It can't look, like, you know, terrible. There's also a big flat area. I'm not sure if I want to do anything with that. I might just leave it, because I love having the flat kind of expanses. It just works. But with that, I declare the mine area completely finished. It is done. It is really, really great to have finished this. The whole thing is now done. I think the best view will be from the top of the crane. Uh, which, unfortunately, I've, I've run out of fireworks. I can't quite get to there. So I'm just going to settle for the control bit instead. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to get onto the top. Look at that. That is beautiful, actually. I really, really do like this. And it is coming to an end in this episode. So thank you very much for watching. We have, once again, we, we're getting so much done in these episodes. It's brilliant. So much done today. It's great. It feels amazing to have finally finished this project. It's taken a long time. I started it way back. And it's great to have it now finally completed. Or at least complete enough. I'd say it might still need some final additions, details, etc, etc. But I'll collect up all the shulker boxes around. There's one thing I'm not really looking forward to. Having to clear out every single thing in the shulker boxes. That's not really going to be very much fun, is it? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, maybe hit the like button and subscribe, if you're kind enough. Goodbye!